Hey guys, it's me, Dave Nakoto, back with another series that I'm working on. In the past, I have done some uh, home automation things with Raspberry Pis and whatnot. Uh, this one I'm be calling Workshop Wednesday. It's just gonna be anything that I'm working on at the current time, uh, messing around with some stuff. Right now, home automation is what I've really been working on and trying to figure out a way to get a relatively cheap uh, and easy to use Alexa-controlled outlet. Now, I have the smart things. Uh, hub set up that controls a couple of the light bulbs around my house, but the smart things outlet tend to be very expensive in the range of 35 to 55 dollars depending on where you find them and they only control one outlet. I want to be able to do this uh, easily quickly and cheaply without having to spend 50 bucks for one outlet. Now obviously smart things outlet I you pay for their system you pay for that uh, that product it's fired up it's ready to go it's working within like five minutes. With a little bit more work, I think I could get it down considerably. Now, what I've done in the past is I've messed around with, obviously, the Raspberry Pi uh, controlling outlets that way, but it doesn't really sync up with um, Alexa very well. What I'm going to do in the future is these guys, I've done some videos on these, the, let's get those to focus in. The ESP8266, this one's a number 12, 12E, and this one's a, a 01, it's the very first one. Now, the benefit of these is you can control relays. So depending on the one you're using, uh, the 01, it's like a dollar, two dollars shipped. This can control a double relay. So making a homebrew Alexa-controlled outlet, you slap it in one of these guys, a little project box, build this all into there. This is an... Uh, Alexa controlled outlet Wi-Fi it there's code to make it spoof as uh, a Wemos device device which I have done with this guy the 12 now this can control an 8 port relay without too much trouble um, giving you a lot more options so instead of spending $50 for one outlet I can spend about 10 or $15 and have eight outlets controlled uh, the thing is messing around with these I haven't gotten the code down to the point where I could build this out and never have to push code to it again. I, I What I wanted to do is be able to switch the information for the Wi-Fi, switch the information for the names of the outlets, that kind of thing, without having to pull this out and plug this back into the computer. So I did some digging around and I found some things. Uh, the first thing I found is this Sonoff. Let me get a picture of that up here. Boom. And that's what that looks like. Uh, it has a built-in ESP. And it, but it's only one outlet that it controls. The good thing though is, regular priced, this is six dollars. It comes from overseas, so it takes a little bit to get here. It was on sale when I grabbed it for four eighty-five, basically nothing. And out of the box, this is very, very ready to go. Um, the weird thing though, is, let me remove that picture. Is see, this is the box right there. You have to splice it into a wire. Now I've spliced it into this cheap like Walmart um, extension cable here, but you have to cut the wire and splice it in here. The ESP sits inside there. There's a little reset button. There's an LED to show your connection to your Wi-Fi. Splice it in. Wire goes in. Wire comes out. Electricity. Uh, there is an application that comes with it. On the back of the box, there's a QR code that allows you to grab that. It works pretty decently. Uh, with the application just on off very similar to the smart things without too much hassle uh, the only thing you have to do is you have to be not, not afraid to splice and cut into a wire I didn't want to cut open the wire on a lamp so I got a cheap Walmart um, extension cord uh, the problem with that is it does it does integrate with with Alexa pretty easily the, the issue is you have to use a custom skill so instead of saying Alexa turn off my light I have to say, Alexa, ask WeLink to turn off my light, which, I don't know. It, I'm, I'm nitpicking, but I don't want to have to constantly remember all the names of the special, the custom skills that I'm adding to Alexa. I just want to say, Alexa, turn on off my light. So about $5, a little bit for shipping there, get it in a couple weeks. Very, very nice. I am going to get a couple more of these because um, they're... Are good and I will it will do a video if people are interested in how to get this set up and how to get this spliced into a wire the next thing I grabbed was this light sprite um, link sprite excuse me let me put a picture of that up there and that's the board that's what the board looks like in my hand so this 
is basically ten dollars prime shipping on Amazon, which is incredible. That's ten bucks. It's got four relays, whereas the the Sonoff only has one. I can control four uh, outlets, however I see fit, and it has because of the the ESP twelve right there that can do that, and then it has a little five volt or a five volt um, power barrel right there, and then that QR code is once you get the application. So there is a, the Link Node R four application that comes with this that syncs up to this as well, which is nice. And you just scan that QR code and it knows, boom, this is the guy I'm looking at. The that's how I control it. And that uh, works very very well um, with the Sonoff and uh, with the Link Node. You can tie those into IFTTT, which is good. I like that. With the Link Sprite, now I said I wanted to be able to control this via Alexa. This can be done. The part that makes this a little bit harder to do is you have to flash new firmware to this and make it spoof. The same way I would be doing it with this, but it's already in one one unit ready to go. I don't have to build anything. It's ten bucks. This is ready to go. A little bit more, eight, five, seven or eight bucks for these, plus the cost of all the parts, plus the cost of housing and everything. Obviously, I'm gonna have to put a housing around this to control that, but that's not a big deal. Ten bucks. Um. The bad part about using the the Link Sprite is it, when it integrates with Alexa, you don't have you don't have control inside of the Alexa app for turning on and off the outlets or the lights or whatever is plugged into it. You have to go either through the application or talk to Alexa, which obviously isn't a problem. Um, I ran into some issues with the code where there's four relays, but Alexa was only seeing three of them. I got to tinker with it a little bit. Uh, I'll do a video on this in the future on another workshop Wednesday. But uh, for now, I'm only getting three of them to work, or three of them to be recognized. Only two of those three are actually working. So, like I said, I'm going to mess around with that. But once I'm able to get the code working for this, I can transfer that over to this guy. And then we'll have uh, the perfect setup. Eventually, I'll have the code down to the science where I can use this, or even just these cheap ones, to set up my own in the future. So, uh, 10 bucks shipped for that guy. So we're cutting down the prices of these outlets, these Alexa-controlled outlets, very, very heavily in the range where I used to be sitting in 40 to 50 dollar range. Now I'm sitting in 10, 15 dollar range after parts and everything. A little bit of labor, it's up and going. So, I, what what I'll end up doing is between the two of these, the Sonoff and the Link Sprite. If you were going to get one of these. I would say get this guy for 10 bucks, four outlets. Uh, as long as you're not afraid to flash an ESP with some new firmware and mess around with that code, this one is definitely the one to go with. It's ready to go. It's it's done. If you don't want to mess around with the ESP and you want it to be a little bit cheaper, you only need one outlet controlled, five bucks, a little bit of shipping, not even a couple bucks shipping. Sewn off, cut a wire. You put put the wire in one end, come out the other end, fire it up. You're ready to go. Uh, get the custom. Uh, skill for Alexa and she can she can control it all so stay tuned for some more episodes in the future where I start to build those things out and uh, if you have any questions or have any comments if you've used either of these products let me know down in the um, in the comment section obviously stay tuned for some more workshop Wednesdays and like always guys good luck and have fun thanks for sticking around for another video Hopefully it was entertaining or useful to you. Head on over to the channel for some more guides, tips, tricks, tutorials, and videos like that. If you want to be alerted to more videos, follow me on Twitter or hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button or leave a comment to join in on the conversation. And if you really want to help out the channel, head on over to my Patreon page. But like always, guys, good luck and have fun.